Sturry, firstly, congratulations. A Hartlepool win, your very first Hartlepool goal, your very first league goal. What an afternoon. Yeah, it was. The main thing is the three points. It wasn't the greatest game to play in today, but if you can uh, if you can get the win and move on to the next one, really. Uh, we'll come on to your goal, but firstly, I mean, first half already seemed like Bristol were really up for the fight. It seemed probably been one of our toughest opponents of the season. Did you feel a little bit frustrated going into half time? Yeah, we all were. We, uh, I don't know. It seemed like we were a little bit lethargic, really. Like they were all over us. Um, we had we won first gear. I would have said. We've, We've got to probably get out of that. Normally, we, as a team, we start probably one of the best teams in the league first half. We're normally all over them, but I don't know. I just wasn't really going today. What was the message then from Dave Chandler at half time? Because he's came off in the second half, you know, fighting for every ball. Yeah, we had a good go up really. Yeah. <laughs> but now nah, he knows we need to keep the fans with us. Um, and we can't be play much better than we did really. You got yourself on the score sheet. I feel like we spoke about this every week. You've been waiting for this goal. You've had one hit off the post. You've looked at last week. You've had you've had blocks off the line. Finally, the goal comes. It taught me through. You've got the ball in the box on your left foot. Yeah, <laughs> left foot's not my strongest. Like, uh, no, nah, I seen they were a bit hesitant there. And if I can nick in front, what I first thought was if I can nick in front, come inside. Harvey's going to be behind me, and he's going to stick out a leg. Um, I'm not trying to say I would cheat, but if he sticks out a leg and I go over it, that's a pen. That's what I thought in my head. Then uh, I chopped inside and I didn't really connect. It was quite central, I thought. Um, but no, I went in and the main thing is the three points. You say the main thing, three points. You've got yourself on the score sheet. Uh, he's quickly becoming a fan's favourite. How was it being for you? You know, you first started your first full season with Hartlepool. It was, I know. It, during pre-season when you were sawing out your contract stuff at Hartlepool and it was always in your heart and there was always plenty of interest elsewhere but you've stuck with Hartlepool in it and you seem like just absolutely loving football. Yeah, like I said, uh, last season was the most enjoyable of, of played really. Uh, most enjoyable, yeah, especially with having my son and stuff like that. And playing and coming here where you, you feel loved, you feel like you're a big part of it. Um, and obviously the fans are massive, so I love it. I love the second half when I can run over. I always take my drinks over and... No, I get a good uh, good clap, really. I was just about to mention that the northwest corner, especially on your side, how big uh, a difference the whole atmosphere in the whole stadium has that been to making uh, the fortress at the Vic and uh, such a great home run we've been on. No, it's it's massive. That's why I probably play a better second half. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, it, it's huge. Everyone around there, around the ground, are oh, oh, terrific. Like I was speaking to Lids before the game, and I was asking what I know. I've been through some tough times and stuff, but. Is this the best it's been and stuff like that? And for me, it's been unbelievable. And obviously, as I mentioned, the home record before, we're really seeming to, seem to build something. Away of, uh, results obviously could be a little bit better, but what's the overall you know, reaction in the dressing rooms? Do we really feel like we can push on this season? No, of course we are. We've got good ambitions. and uh, we just got to keep pushing on. If we can keep winning at home and nick some results away, then we should be doing well. Sterry, thank you very much. Yes.